Friday night, Tesla CEO Elon Musk indicated that the test group for the automaker's full self-driving beta test group would be doubled. And all you have to do to be included is to simply ask the CEO of a Tesla or a Tesla associate. The only thing he did not say is how to apply to become a Tesla full self-driving beta tester at this expansion stage. In this report, I'm going to explain that it's simple email with some simple uh, information. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here the first time, please subscribe to our channel, join our community, and give us thumbs up or like uh, if this video is informative. And let's get started. So Tesla CEO Elon Musk announced they were expanding the full self-driving FSD beta testing program by a factor of 10 in the coming weeks, 10 times maybe, or doubling inviting owners to let us know if they were interested. But how to apply to be included in this test for self-driving expansion? Some wondered if it would be up to the Twitter lottery to be included, while others created service requests in the mobile app to become a tester. After likely being inundated with requests, Tesla service in Canada has let Drive Tesla Canada website know Canadians can apply to, um, to and exactly what to do. Here is an email where the Tesla owners from the United States and Canada who want to be part of the full self-driving beta testing can apply. Simply email earlyaccess at tesla.com early access at tesla.com and include the following information. First, name. Second, your car's uh, VIN number. Third, include the country. And fourth, include the driving history, Dri your driving style and the types of roads you usually drive on. Name, VIN number, country, driving history, including your commute, your driving star and uh, style, and so on. So Twitter user Krupal underscore JHA has shared an image with Drive Tesla Canada in which there is a text, apparently from Tesla, which reads the following. Thanks for reaching out about the early access program for FSD. Please email earlyaccess at tesla.com with the following information, name, VIN, country, and driving history. Driving history should describe your driving style and the types of road you usually drive on. For now, we'll cancel your appointment and hopefully you'll get selected. Thank you, Tesla service. This applies not only for people in Canada, but also, of course, in the United States. If you remember, several weeks ago, Elon Musk mentioned that Tesla's full self-driving beta would be more robust, but that it would take some time to complete. Ultimately, Musk came through on, uh, on his promise, came through on his promise, as the CEO said on February 24th, that a more complete version of the beta would be released as neural networks would be upgraded to surround video. That means they will see things as humans see. On February 24th, Elon Musk was responding to Tesla owners of Silicon Valley question who asked about the next update. This is what precisely Elon Musk wrote on February 24th. We're upgrading all NNs to surround video using subnets on focal areas versus equal compute on all uncropped pixels and many other things. So more time needed to write and validate software. Maybe something next week. This is evolving into solving a big part of physical world AI. Musk wrote on February 24th. Friends, Tesla's full self-driving beta group was initially rolled out in October 2020. It was rolled out only to a small group of Tesla owners who had good track record of safe driving. Tesla always emphasized cautious safe driving, but the demand to test the full self-driving was very high. It expanded on the orders of Elon Musk and other executives after the quarter for 2020 earnings call, but now the test group is growing by two times growing Tesla more data or to learn from its attempts to expand the full self-driving test group. Many owners have requested the future, but until now, it has been locked down to a select group of Tesla enthusiasts. 
while the future has become more accurate in its predictions with its short span of being rolled out tesla owners have undoubtedly experienced significant improvements within the semi-autonomous driving platform which tesla plans to roll out in level 5 stages by the end of 2021. This current Tesla full self-driving is not level 5. It's some people consider level 2, but it's more advanced than that. So I'm ex extremely confident of achieving full autonomy and releasing it to the Tesla customers base next week, next year. But I think at least some jurisdictions are going to allow full self-driving next year, Elon Musk said while accepting the Axel Springer Award in Germany at the end of 2020. Tesla's full self-driving beta group will expand, but by how much, we don't know. In its tweet, Elon Musk used the word uh, double and also 10 times. I'm sure Tesla will decide it and we may not even know unless Tesla CEO Elon Musk chooses to reveal the scope of the full self-driving expansion. But here is what we know from Elon Musk tweets about Tesla full self-driving expansion. Last we heard on Tesla's quarterly conference calls for shareholders at the end of January, Elon said that nearly 1,000 Tesla owners had the full self-driving beta activated on their cars. If that hasn't changed much since then, the simple math is that 10 times more than 1,000 is 10,000 because in its yesterday's tweet, Elon Musk used 10 times more. Zachary Shahan from Clean Technica writes, One tricky thing about this stage of autonomous vehicle development is that counterintuitively, it can come with more risk than early phases. Why? Because when your car is too good at driving itself, but not yet perfect, it's practically impossible to pay attention to the road for the rare instances when it needs you to take over. In fact, NASA discovered years ago that even top-tier engineers could not stay, fo stay focused or monitoring, uh, on monitoring something if there wasn't anything to do. With this in mind, Elon has repeatedly emphasized that Tesla owners who get the FSD beta update need to be extra, extra careful. He also says the full self-driving beta suite can take people from their homes to their favorite storage, stores, workplaces, tennis courts, or other places, or church on Sundays, potentially even without a single intervention on the part of the driver for the whole trip. It is not yet perfect, not yet ready, Shahan says, for you to go to sleep or watch a movie while the car drives itself. But it is getting closer and closer every week. How close? You can tell me if you are a Tesla FSD beta uh, tester. As you can see in Elon's tweet above, Tesla implemented about 1,000 improvements going from version 8. Point, uh, 2 to version 8.3 of full self-driving beta. Uh, I'm certainly extremely interested in seeing what it can handle in my area, says Shahan. Hopefully we get into the beta on this round of additions, he says. Arovik, on the other hand, writes that while we don't know how many people will be accepted into the Tesla full self-driving expansion, it's also prudent to note that the current version of FSD still requires drivers to keep their hands on the steering wheel and be ready to take over control of the car at all times. So there are some asterisks to just how self-driving the system is. Both of these publications emphasize you need to be ready to take control. Please keep in mind that the full self-driving is not a level 5 system and should not be treated by current or future users as such. In fact, it's still considered level 2 by many in the industry, Autoweek writes. Just like the company's autopilot driver assist system requiring adult driver supervision at all times. So while I'm covering this, friends, I want to emphasize, be careful. It's not level 5 autonomy yet. It's many, by many considered officially as level 2, although it may be much more advanced. The only level 3 that is officially certified anywhere in the world is uh, yesterday's announced Honda Legend. It's a hybrid vehicle, level 3, officially certified as such. 
It doesn't mean that its autonomy is much better than Tesla, but it's at least level three and officially certified in Japan. Well, friends, let me know if you're going to apply for Tesla full self-driving expansion at this stage. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel. Give us thumbs up, like this video and subscribe to our channel. Join our community. Look at our discussions. They're very inf informative. And uh, I'll see you soon in our next report. God bless you, everyone. Peace be with all of you. See you soon.